let's register our drone on digital sky click on register click on i want to use us click on an individual put in your name put in your email id provide your mobile number give a strong password now you will see your details click on create account click continue now you have created your account put in your email otp and phone otp click on verify submit the captcha and now your account is created on digital sky congratulations on created successfully now we need to create operator profile so it's created you need to provide your name your email address mobile number and you need to attach your proof and we need to provide at least Aadhaar and passport first I have to provide your Aadhaar and for Aadhaar you need to provide a paperless KYC go to this link now on the second point go to the link which will land you to the login page login using Aadhaar number and then OTP put in the captcha enter the OTP received on your registered mobile number now go to offline eKYC option create a share code which you will be using to unlock the zip file and provide it on the digital sky website as well so for now i have kept it one two three four now once the file is downloaded extract the file and you will get a xml file put in the code you provided on the Adar website now you have a xml file which you will be uploading on the digital sky website Load the XML file, enter the passcode 1234, enter your email ID. It's, it is optional, but you need to provide your mobile number which is registered with your Aadhaar card. Now you need to provide your passport. You need to enter a passport number, place of issue, date of issue, and date of expiry. And also you need to upload your passport and it should be self signed now 
I am now entering my details. Now I have to upload a self attested passport copy. You need to select the address, it, it can be either same as Aadhaar or you can provide your own address if you have changed your address. Now, here are the details verify it and click on create profile click on continue Now your individual operator profile has been created. Now we will go ahead and register our drone. So for that you need to click on this plus icon. Add a US. So I have already registered my DJI Mini 4 Pro. So for now I will select DJI Mini 3 as an example. So now you have to provide your US FCM, RPS and US UUID. So your remote control or your flight number is your US and FCM number. Your remote control number will be your RPS and US number. So from where you will get it, you will get it from your DJI drone remote. So I have copied the details on a notepad and I will enter those here. So your aircraft number would be your UAS and FCM number. So I'll quickly copy the aircraft number and paste it on the UAS and FCM boxes. Now I'll copy remote control serial number and paste it on the RPS and UAS UID. Now you have to enter the manufacturer's date of manufacture. So from where you will get it? You will get it from uh, DJI website. So you need to search DJI warranty check online. You will get a link. Click on the link and uh, from where you have got the drone, you need to select that country. So I got my drone from Singapore. So I select Singapore. I will enter my flight number, aircraft number, serial number. So it is, and click on check. It will show you the date of activation. So you need to enter the date of activation on the Digital Sky website. So for me, it was 5th of May. 10th of May 2024 so you have to need to verify the details FCM RPS manufacturer date US and US UIT click on continue now the serial number has been activated has been added still now you haven't you will not be getting any uh, UIN so the status will be not applied so you need to apply for the UIN for this you need to upload the photographs of your drone you need to click pictures of your drone 
front view top view close-up of the manufacturer serial number left view and right view so here are the details so you need to check so from where you will get the close-up of your manufacturer book uh, that number will be under your battery so you need to remove your battery from the drone and when you remove the battery you will see a number there so let me quickly upload the photos and you will get an idea of where you will get the close up of your importer serial number so you can see the importer serial number looks like this under the battery so now you have uploaded the photos you need to confirm you need to confirm the details and you need to make a payment of rupees 100 which is a risk a fee for getting a UIN click on make payment click on continue make the payment you can either uh, use a net banking debit card or credit card and you can also use your UPI ID to pay the fee you can use Visa, Mastercard, Rupay, Maestro and for credit card as well you can use Rupay, Visa, Maestro, Mastercard you can also use your UPI ID to pay the fee enter the captcha Check the acknowledgement and click on pay. Once the payment is confirmed, you will get your UIN number. Click on confirm, make the payment. Now you will see number of UNs is one, and to cross verify, you can click on get transfer UIN. And now your UIN status is active and the, the pending action will be disabled because no action is needed okay now you are traveling to uh, any state via flight or any other country so you need to carry you need to keep a note of your ui number so just in case if you forget your ui number you can quickly go to google and search for validate uin UIN number now the first link will take you to the digital sky website wherein you can just enter your name and you will get the details of your drone so I put my name I click on search and boom here are my details so thanks for watching guys if you have any question put it in the comment section and i'll quickly answer your questions do like share and subscribe come fly with dji